S5. It's an event that well, we've been looking forward to because practically all the big names are in this one, the S5. We saw Osturk from Turkey coming through. There's the experienced Inbal Pizarro from Israel going through in lane number three. And the equally as experienced Kumar will go in lane five. Teresa Perales. 26 Paralympic Games medals for the Spanish swimmer. Joanna Maria Silva in lane number five coming through. Spagin Seva from Kazakhstan there in your picture. Goes in lane number six, but could be a very interesting one, this one under freestyle. Teresa Perales, the world record holder, Joanna Maria Silva has been in great form in recent years. Well, maybe she sees this as her opportunity. Yep, um, she's definitely known. She's more known as a sprint for the 50 metres, but um, her 100 metres freestyle has been progressing. She swam really well in Rio. And this is one of those events you said before where pretty much everyone is here. So these heat swims won't be as comfortable as some of the other heat swims that we've seen. Range of starts here again. This is the S5 classification. You'll see some swimmers. Teresa Perales going from a, a sit start. Imbal Pizarro start in the water. And the swimmers will be held on the blocks as well by the coaches. Yes, and here we see Sibylle Ozturk. She's got an arm, upper arm impediment, so she made the most of that underwater swim. Uh, 15 meters off the wall but whereas the others came straight up and into their strokes because they're strong arm propelled balanced freestylers Marjorie Perales going well but Joanna Maria Silva just coming through there and heading a world record holder up to the halfway point remember Joanna Silva's celebration when she won that medal in Glasgow it was a as a picture definitely it lives in the memory and uh, she kind of wears her heart on her sleeve Joanna Silva, definitely. Yeah, there were a lot of tears that day, and I think she was almost as surprised as everybody else. Even though you go in believing you can win, sometimes when you pull it off, <laughs> then you let your shock out and you realize how surprised you are. But here we see nice controlled swimming from all three ladies in the middle of the pool. Well, we have five in this heat. We have six in the next heat. The top eight times, the fastest eight times, will progress to the final this evening. So they can't afford to take it too easy, but it does look comfortable for the three main contenders there. It is going to be Silva in lane number five, just hitting Pizarro, with Pizarro pulling back. A very, very smooth stroke they've been accustomed to over the years, and she's coming through strongly. Great 200 freestyler, Imbal Pizarro, showing that strength in the end. 127 for the Israeli swimmer. Joanna Maria Silva, 129, and Teresa Perales, the world record over 130.44. So the top three, that surely will qualify them for the final with only six to go in the next heat. So three main contenders through to that final. It was pretty comfortable in the end, Liz. Yeah, and you would expect all three of those to make it safely through after the second heat is completed. And some big names going in that second heat as well. We're about to see, but Imbal Pizarro looking strong there at the end. Therese Perales, I'm sure she has got a lot more to give. World record stand at 116.65 back in Beijing in 2008. And 1.18 won the Paralympic title last year. And that Paralympic champion is going in the next heat. That's Jiang Li from China. Lovely high elbows there from Teresa Perales and Imbel Pizarro which is impressive considering they have no use from their waist down. So they've got that drag and it, it's really difficult to get that height and that balance, but that really does help them cut through the water nicely. Yeah, real kind of melting pot of disabilities, the, the kind of mid-range classes. You'll see a lot of different impairments there. The next heat, just about ready to come out. Val Pizarro will be the target for that, 127.24. Anna Silva, 129. Teresa Perales, 130. So, someone's in the next one. I don't know exactly what they're going to have.